Hi angels, it's Kate. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you know when I post new videos. Okay, so you've seen the title and you know that I'm finally doing my Q&A slash answering your questions slash subscriber special. So this was supposed to be for my 20k subscribers uh, special, but we just hit 30k today and I'm like, what? Like... I don't even know how to process all of this still. I can't believe that you would watch me. Kind of crazy to me and thank you for just loving and supporting me. Okay, so now that we're done with the sappy part of the video, let's just get right into me answering your questions. So I had you guys send in questions through my Instagram. If you don't follow it, it's at Telly right here so that you guys can participate in my future videos because I often involve Instagram so it might help you to follow me if you are interested, obviously. But if you don't want, then it's like fine, I guess. And I organized them in categories. So I'm going to do a few from every category. There's going to just be like basic facts about me, YouTube related stuff. Hashtag Team Ted slash Ethan slash Frank questions. It's probably your fave. Slash school and future or travel stuff, food and just miscellaneous more facts about me. I'm sorry if this is like kind of boring. If you guys think of more exciting things for me to do, I will totally do them. So comment down below your video ideas or just whatever you want to see me do. What grade are you in? I am a junior, so I'm in 11th grade. I'm from Honolulu, Hawaii, and I was born and raised here, but my parents are immigrants from China, so things are a little bit different in our household. My nationality is a US citizen, and my ethnicity is Chinese. I'm 100% Chinese. I get a ton of stuff. I've gotten Korean, Japanese, Filipino, and yes, I do speak Chinese, but the dialect I'm better at is um, this dialect from a province called Sichuan, but I can also speak Mandarin, it's just not as good and I talk a lot slower in it. By the way, if you guys want to see me do a vlog where I only speak Chinese, let me know because my friends thought I should do it, but I don't know if you guys would watch it because it's you wouldn't know what's going on. But I guess I could do captions and I think it might be interesting to do it for a day and see how people react because I feel like it must be so frustrating for them. But then I'd be frustrated too because they wouldn't know what I'm saying, so like, I don't know. Skincare routine. Okay, you guys always ask about this. I promise I'm going to do one soon, hopefully. Oh my goodness, I always say soon, but yeah, okay, I'll do one soon. Do you wear makeup? Yes, I do wear makeup, but I suck at it as you've seen in my prom vlog. It was just, it's just quite a disaster. But I don't usually wear makeup on a normal basis to school and stuff. But I do wear a mascara and curl my lashes on some days when I'm just feeling it, maybe like three times a week. I am religious and I am a Christian. But what inspired me to make my necklaces slash jewelry brand? It's right here, Precious by Kate. You can shop it here. I guess I just always saw necklaces online that I really liked and I thought they were all so expensive and overpriced. I know a lot of sites sell something similar to this. It's basically you can custom your name or whatever phrase you want like you can put like Pisces on it or your name and I've seen some sites selling it for like $200 and I'm like bruh I just like was not down to spend that much money so I decided to make my own shop and I've always enjoyed making jewelry so it was nice to like get back into things I sell it for like 30 to $40 but I always run sales so it's like more like 30 and maybe I guess I'm not making that much of a profit but still, like, they're trying to sell it for $200, and it's literally just gold-plated. You guys ask me this a lot, and I, it's kind of an intrusive question, but I personally don't really care because I'm, like, really open to answering that. I am 5'2.75", so technically I categorize myself as 5'3", because I need all the rounding I can get. And I am 100 15 pounds but after I eat dinner or I drink a lot of water then I'll probably be like 117 hi welcome to this little commercial time today's video is sponsored by Knox influencer shout out to them I'm gonna show you guys how the website works and how awesome it is so they're basically really similar to like social blade and it's so informative and interesting to if you are personally a youtuber or 
you are interested in seeing how your favorite youtubers are doing so i'm just gonna search myself up and show you guys some stuff on how it goes so from here you can see my stats and analytics so if you've ever wondered everything about my channel then you can pretty much see it here i'm sure you guys have always wondered how much youtubers make and so you can look at my estimated monthly earnings by the way i'm gonna film a video soon about how to get your first youtube paycheck me getting my first one and how much i make and basically just exposing myself because i thought you guys might enjoy that so you can check my live subscriber count and this is what i looked at yesterday to see when i hit 30k exactly and it was so cool oh my goodness we're at 31 already that's crazy you guys so yeah you guys should totally go check out their site after this video and you can see all their cool analytics and stuff and now we're gonna get back to the video now let's talk about a YouTube related question. So I started my YouTube channel about two to three years ago. I had like a channel with my best friend and we would vlog and it was really like not serious, just like playful, really cringy things, even though I'm still cringy, but like that was like on a totally another level. That kind of is how I started YouTube. We didn't get views. We got like 100 or 200 views on our videos. So it was mostly just our friends watching and it was just like for funsies. And my best friend kind of like just stopped using it but Ice was still on the channel and I started just posting a lot of stuff about myself and my life. And I did a 30 day workout challenge, which was the Alexis Ren 30 day workout challenge. And that freaking like changed my life, I guess, in a way, because that's when I actually started seeing like a lot of people watching my videos. It was my first ever video that blew up in a sense. And I went from getting like 200 views on every video to suddenly 300,000. And I was like, what was going on here? But that was so crazy to me and after that video I got a lot more serious about doing YouTube So I started my own channel July of 2018 and it is like one of the best decisions I've ever made and I've never looked back honestly Someone asked me if I ever considered quitting YouTube and I honestly never have It's made me so happy and I honestly love filming and editing and talking and meeting you guys and I just think it's so cool to have a platform where I can like share my thoughts and you guys are actually interested in seeing it and I just I'm so grateful for all of you like seriously and a lot of you always DM me or just comment about how you wish that you could start a channel but you're not confident enough to do it honestly I'm not someone that cares that much about what others think of me so I guess for me it was easier because I was just like I'm gonna just do it you know like what is the worst that could happen to you someone just talks bad about you like like it's just words and i know words can hurt but just don't let it hurt you you know honestly like if someone talks bad about you and says you're cringy or whatever like yeah i'm cringy but so what you know like that's who i am and there are thirty thousand other people that enjoy my cringiness now you know so like whatever and especially for those of you who are like in school still I feel like in middle school or high school you like care so much about what others think of you but then after you leave you're literally never gonna see anyone again but YouTube's still gonna be there for you your subscribers are still gonna have your back how do you balance YouTube slash school slash working out slash social life um quick answer is you don't what do you use to edit your videos I use Final Cut Pro and my camera I'm filming on right now is the Canon Rebel T5i on the 18 to 135 millimeter lens and then for vlogging I just use my little iPhone 8 right here next topic hashtag team tets Ethan or Frank you guys are so thirsty but honestly like I don't blame you so it's whatever I'm happy to answer these questions am I dating the guy I went to prom with no I'm not I'm not dating any of those three boys by the way i know some of you guys thought i was dating like ethan or tets or frank but no i'm not dating any of them sorry to disappoint is it weird to see people comment that they're hot or cute not really i just think it's kind of funny but i feel like it's a nice little ego boost for them because like don't you want other people to think you're cute like, relationship advice um don't come asking me actually sometimes i like try to like be all like philo philosophical and give relationship advice when like literally i haven't had one so now we're on to school slash college stuff so you guys want to know what schools i'm planning to apply to so right now i'm thinking like usc nyu boston u 
just like stuff in big cities because I really want to go to a big city after living like in Hawaii so long and there's just not much happening around here and I just want to see something more like bustling and city life okay regarding my college major I just like don't want to talk about that because I have no idea sometimes I think about like comp sci or psych or econ or like Okay, honestly, I want to do business or marketing slash advertising, but my parents won't let me, so probably going to get a minor in one of those. Do you play a sport? And are you one of those popular athletic girls at school or no? Ah, that's a fat no. I don't play sports. I'm not athletic, I guess you would say. I literally do like a 10-minute home workout when I'm doing one of my challenge videos, but honestly, I've been slacking so hard recently. Now let's talk about my future plans and travel type things. If you could go anywhere in the world, where would it be? Um, okay, there are a lot of places that I want to visit. I definitely want to visit more states in the US because I've been to like four, I think, and there's that's not enough, you know? Everyone in Hawaii has been to Japan except for me. I feel left out, so I want to go to Japan. I also really want to go to Australia and Europe, and I want to go to everywhere. I don't think I can pick exactly one favorite place, but I think the people make my trips more than where I'm going to, although I guess I've traveled to just really cool places with my favorite people, so I'm very fortunate in that regard. Now let's go on to food. My favorite type of food is actually like all types of food. I don't really discriminate. I feel like there's not like one cuisine that I particularly like. I kind of enjoy all of them because they're all so different and sometimes you just need to spice things up a little bit. My favorite type of fruit is nothing. Watermelon, grape, blueberry. I've been eating blueberries a lot recently. I do eat strawberry. Um, I eat cantaloupe and honeydew. I don't exactly have a favorite type of fruit because, okay, don't hate me, but I don't really like fruits that much. It's so weird. I think it's like a mental thing that I have, but I just for some reason don't really like fruits and I much prefer vegetables and I don't know why that is, but I could probably talk for a really long time about how weird my relationship with fruits are, but it's just really messed up. My favorite fast food place that's in Hawaii would probably just be like, uh, actually I can't pick. I like KFC fried chicken a lot. I love KFC popcorn chicken a lot and their mashed potatoes, but then I also really like the breakfast sandwiches at McDonald's so much. The Egg McMuffin. Yes! And then I also really like, um, ooh, on the mainland, I went to Chipotle for the first time in August and I only have been once, but let me just tell you, I love that place so much with a passion. It's so good and I feel healthy when I eat it because, like, I just, like, always think about it and I can't get it because there is none here and I'm sad. My favorite cake flavor, I love this question, is super chocolate cake. You might be asking what exactly is a super chocolate. It's basically, as the name says, it has to be more chocolate than cake. And I need like that dense, rich, like I might throw up after eating this, but it's fine. I love that. My beverage of choice is water because I eat way too much cake and other pastries. So I can't be having like sugary stuff in my drinks. Although I have definitely been drinking sugary drinks a lot more this year. I was so good about it for like the past 16 years of my life. But this year things have just been going downhill. So we need to get back into things. So now we're going to move on to just some like miscellaneous stuff. Because I don't know how to group this. Whose concert would you love to go see? Oh my goodness, I really, 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 really want to go to a Shawn Mendes concert. But all the times that I'm going to be in the mainland is when he's going to be in Canada or something like that. And then when I'm in Asia, he's going to go to the mainland, so I'm so sad I'm never going to get to see him. And I feel like he's not going to tour anymore after this year because he's been touring for like a straight two years and I'm so sad. I almost cried, but like... I'm just so sad. I really want to see him. I'm obsessed with his song. He's so cute and like... I would also cry if I went to a John Mayer concert because like... Oh, let me just tell you. I am obsessed with New Light by John Mayer. Oh my goodness. That's a, just my favorite song in the entire world. I also really like Like To Be You by Shawn Mendes and Julia Michaels. And then that also relates to my favorite songs at the moment. Those two songs will just 
always be one of my favorite songs. You guys can follow me on Spotify, by the way. I'll put the link in description. I have like a currently playlist, so you can like look at what I currently have been really like bumping with. So I really like Missing You Crazy, the acoustic version by Russ. Prima Donna by Marina. You and Us by Quinn XCII. Close friends, I just like keep listening to that song. I'm like kind of obsessed with it right now by Lil Baby friends. and Gunna. It's like a trappy like sort of song, and I don't usually listen to a lot of trap music, but I listen to all genres, so I don't know. Sometimes I just like randomly fall in love with random songs. Like I will fall in love with country songs too. So um, I can't really drive. Like I have my permit, but I actually scheduled my driver's license thing for May. Th no wait, for June third. So pray for me. I'm leaving for the airport like that night. So if I don't get it, then I'm gonna have to wait for like a long time. Thank you guys so much for sticking it with me. If you made it to the end, then like thanks because wow, you actually care about me that much. And don't forget to give this video a like and a subscribe to me so you know when I post new videos. And don't forget to follow my Instagram right here at Kcatelli so that you can participate in my future videos because I do a lot of stuff on Instagram and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing another more in-depth side of me and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!